Hi, I'm Steve and I'm going to show you today why Windows 8 is a good thing if you have a touch screen. We all know that Windows 8 is designed for touch screens and you know Windows 7 wasn't designed for touch screens but it was designed to be able to work a little bit with touch screens. It, it had the functionality there. So why is this all why is this good on a touch screen? Well, and um, why isn't it good on a desktop? So Microsoft primarily designed this for touch screens. Um, they seem to think that everybody wants a touch screen device in their living room. Um, well, what they actually tried doing was pushing their tablet systems and they wanted a single OS design for all of their devices such as mobile phone, the Xbox, tablets, desktops, all look the same. That's what they wanted and they failed at that. And with the recent unveiling of the Xbox One um, and then backtracking on their data right management system, they failed at that again and I think it's a bit too late for that. So why is Windows 8 good for a touch screen and why is it not good for a desktop? We'll find both reasons out in this video. Um, well for a touch screen it works really well, flawlessly, smooth, um, it has everything you'd expect, you know, it, it works brilliantly with multi-touch so I can zoom out and back in. And this is this is a Windows 7 generation laptop as well so this is um, this is something that's been out for about three years now so it's fairly old, or two, three years, uh, pre-Windows 8 for a start and it just works so perfect, perfectly with it, flawlessly. Um, so first of all let's go into the settings easy as that it's it works well it's smooth and if we come off of this and back to the and that's how you close things in, on a tablet as you go like that I love that I think that's simple um, if we put it into standby mode um, this one takes a little bit longer than the modern stuff because it wasn't designed to go into standby as quick as what a normal tablet is but it comes out pretty fast if you turn it on you know, didn't exactly take long, did it? Um, that's a custom wallpaper I put on because I didn't find a lot of their wallpapers were very good, and I like that because it really shows the colour definition of the screen. So, as you can see, you've got the time and day. Um, it looks very much like the Windows phone. So, if we just open that up straight to the straight away, you're on the start screen. I like that on a touch screen. Um, and with Windows 8, believe it or not, it's designed to work with slower hardware. It's designed to work with um, ARM devices and stuff. So you can get cheaper tablets running this operating system and they'll work flawlessly. Um, there are a few nasty mimics from Android out there which aren't particularly good. But I really do like this. Now Internet Explorer itself works very well on this. Um, is my YouTube channel and to get to your tabs go like that MSN MSN nobody likes MSN admit it nobody likes MSN it's crap um, but they've made it look really nice and work well with Windows 8 this is their touch interface one it's got all the um, it's got your Facebook link to their page uh, it's got follow on Twitter it's got Skype and Outlook a lot of people use Outlook they'll find that useful to get to um, again, Outlook looks relatively nice on touchscreen. I've been having problems trying to get this to work though. Um, so that's a bit of a downer, it takes ages. So we are going to close that tab and ignore that. And tab switching is very easy. Um, back and forward buttons here. It's just, it, it, everything's there, everything's relevant, everything works perfectly with a touch screen. So what we're going to do now, it, now that we've seen most of this work, um, is I'm going to show you one last thing which I like quite a bit, and that's the store. So all, most of these apps I've had open, the store takes a while, if I close it, it takes a moment or two to open. And there you go. So you've got all your uh, top paid, top three new releases, for Spotlight, which is 
the stuff they put up front, you've got games, social, entertainment, photo, music video, sport, books reference, news weather, health and fitness right at the end, food and dining, lifestyle, shopping, it's not right at the end, travel, finance, productivity, tools, security, business, education, government. Um, some government. U.S. Constitution. No hacking tutorials. So that's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it's like in desktop form. So just bear with me a moment whilst I get my other laptop out. So let's have a look at what it works like in desktop mode. So the mouse is a bit if he running side to side and um, you know it's a bit all over the place with a mouse pad. I've used it on a desktop with um, a mouse works flawlessly with a mouse, it's so much easier and you can get to where you want faster. So what I find myself using is desktop mode which is this. Um, I've got all my applications that I want at the front. Again with Windows 8 no start menu, I don't like that. Um, but I've got my uh, Google Chrome and my Internet Explorer. Um, loads up pretty fast. And bear in mind this is only an Atom system, so on Windows 7, not a chance of it running as fast as this. Um, back to your start menu, got Google. And these are just Metro apps and stuff. We go back, uh, I'm going to close that down. This is the other really annoying thing is you have to put your mouse up there, hold the click and bring it down there. Now I've done tutorials with a lot of uh, people who are getting familiar with this using Windows 8 for the first time. It's really easy for them apart from closing down the applications. They seem to not like the fact of holding that down and going like that. They can't get the hang of it. So if we go back onto desktop mode, you've got your file explorer bring up computer you got to go through all this and go to computer. Why? It's unnecessary. Um, I prefer I prefer just starting the computer, not going through all that. You got your all your quick icons here. Now um, Windows 8 has built in security, it's fairly good so you're fairly safe online. But as for using it for a desktop it's nowhere near as good as using it as a tablet system. It just works so much better when you're using it as a tablet. And got some really cool apps for it as well. So um, that's basically why I think Windows 8 is good on a tablet and not on a desktop. Um, though I have got it on my desktop PC because I've got to get used to it. I've got to learn all the little hidden features in it because it's what I deal with a lot now is Windows 8 PCs so getting used to it is a majorly important thing um, so there we go thanks for watching don't forget to rate and subscribe and yeah see you later